Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new month of videos. So this month is going to be all about transportation. How you can use the five senses, fine and gross motor skills, art, and centers in your classroom to teach your children about transportation. Now these are things that can be easily adapted to do at home with your children as well. All right, so in this first video, we're going to talk about the five senses. So let's go. Okay, so starting with the sense of taste, a fun idea for snack time would be to get some graham crackers with icing on top and then get some Hot Wheel cars, but make sure that the wheels have some tread on them and maybe clean the car first and make some tire tracks in the icing before you give them the snack. Another fun thing is to give them some car wheels, which would be Oreo cookies. Not the healthiest of snacks, but still fun for the kids. For the sense of touch, my ideas would be to get some Hot Wheels, trains, anything that kids can play with during their playtime, but then also maybe make some paper airplanes. You can go ahead and make these ahead of time and give them to fly around the room. It might get a little chaotic, but it's going to be a lot of fun. When you fold the paper airplane, you can also bend in the point so it's not as dangerous for the kids to have them flying around the room. The kids love throwing paper airplanes. Another fun idea, maybe during circle time or just when you're discussing things with your kids, is to bring in pieces of rubber to let the kids feel what a tire is supposed to feel like. Okay, so the sense of hearing, you can find things around your house that would work to teach transportation with your hearing. The first idea is to come up with a horn of some sort. It could be a bike horn or another type of horn that you might have to sound like a car horn. If you have a train whistle, that's great to hear the sound of a train. Also, if you have a bicycle bell, they could use that and have fun with that. And then lastly, you might find some sound clips online that you could play for them of different types of transportation, like these sound clips. <laughs> For the sense of sight, you can get pictures online of vehicles to show your kids. You could also bring magazines and allow the children to flip through the magazine to find pictures of transportation. Now, I only had a food magazine, so I would suggest maybe finding some automotive magazines. This is not chocked full of transportation ideas, but if you have any other types of magazines around, they typically have cars in them or maybe some ads that have cars, and some automotive or mechanic magazine might have some other types of transportation. A lot of times you can get magazines from friends or your neighbors that they might not want anymore, or old magazines you can find at a resale or half price bookshop. Hey guys, so for the sense of sight, I forgot to give you the idea of going for a walk. If you can get out of the school or out of your house and go for a walk and look and listen for different types of transportation that you have around you. The kids will love getting outside and also it's a great source for finding ways of transportation to show the kids. For a sense of smell, I just have one idea, but it is to get some car air fresheners to bring to the classroom to let the children smell. Maybe different varieties and different smells. Let them smell air fresheners. Those are my ideas of how you can use the five senses to teach preschoolers about transportation. If you have any other great ideas, please leave me a comment. I would love to hear your ideas as well. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give it a like. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. how you can use the five senses, fine and gross motor skills, art, and